Sega. Hello and welcome back to A Slayer's Guide, the definitive handbook for every slayer of monsters and beasts in the dangerous world of Total War Warhammer. This week, we're going to teach you how to kill a Gorgor. Standing at about three times the height of your average member of the Beastman herd, clad in heavy armour and wielding an axe with a blade the size of a barn door, the Gorgor is an obvious immediate threat. A fearsome, towering melee warrior with the capability to carve a bloody path through its enemies, especially other large or armoured units. Don't be afraid, every enemy's strengths also have countermeasures, and the Gorbal is no different. While the Gorbal can tackle larger armoured foes with ease, it doesn't have an easy time controlling crowds of smaller, lightly armoured ones. It has a slow attack speed, and is vulnerable between attacks. For this reason, miring it in lighter melee infantry such as skeleton spearmen or anti-large slayers is a wise idea. In addition, it's huge, and this makes it an easy-to-spot target for long-range armour-piercing units, which can fire over the throng, hitting the gorble while it stomps across the battlefield. Don't let it get too close, though, if you value your artillery crew. Gorbals also cause fear, so keep a unit with leadership-bolstering abilities close by to prevent other units from routing. Attack it when it's away from the enemy melee units. Sending in your forces only to have them tied down with other foes while the Gorble does its deadly work could result in a demoralising loss. Spotting a Gorble on the battlefield can be a tense first experience, but if you can pin it down and prioritise it, subsequent encounters with these cloven behemoths won't scare the marrow out of your bones. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another Slayer's Guide.